So um, at some point, there would be a formula that could at least have an extended life, might have little less moisture, might be shrink-wrapped in some way um, to keep, uh, you know, whatever, maybe it needs to have some baking going on. But um, the uh, idea would be that that would be when you have some sort of standard that uh, you know, it would be interesting to have a higher price thing that gets packaged and, you know, maybe it costs $2.50, but it has the um, formula right on the back and said, why are you buying this? Here's how to make it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I think, I think you're, you're accepting the reality of the situation, which is you, you probably... Or, or, or even if you chose to try to control and define the quality standards and distribution um, channels and so forth and so on, it's probably just not a realistic expectation. And so, so then, then it becomes how do you create a model there which includes or incorporates a lot of those things so that people are going to do it because it's, free. it's a logical way to do it, not because there's a consequence to them. Well, here's the situation I have. You make it the the formula of the no bake from what I saw was that you refrigerate it for four hours to help the um, milk solidify with the grain. I think that's one one of the things that's going on in there chemically. Yeah. You get a little binding going on there, and it needs to be cooled down for that binding to take place. But here here's the point. Um, I can hire someone to put my label on their mixed. Uh, juice uh, or their mixed um, wine. I could say I, I need something that's fifty percent Cabernet and you know some Pinot or something like that, and I want my name on it, and I want these grapes to come from X region, and we'll sell it for fifty dollars a bottle, and it's a, a gimmick, right? So what I need to now do is make a batch of um, uh, I don't know one hundred and forty four bars or something, right? <laughs> And it has every everything goes into the label basically because the label would be look exactly like one of these standardized labels, but it would also have the formula on it. This is how it this is, uh, it would for shelf life it would be made by some standard method. You just take a standard bar and put it in there. I don't care what bar is out there, you select the bar, and we, it's a nice cheap bar, and maybe it has too much sugar, but who cares, right? But the idea is, yeah, this bar tastes great, but guess what? It's got lots of sugar in it. Now, if you follow the formula that's on the label, you don't ever have to buy this bar again, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but, you know, that's interesting, because obviously a lot of people do that in the U.S., you know, to make a version of a certain, you know, popular bar, you know, make it at home. Um, so, so there's nothing wrong with that. I, you know, there's, there's another thought that occurs to me, Steve, which is um, what you could do, uh, and, and I'm just thinking out loud, but I'm, I'm not sure this is a recommendation or not, but, but when you were saying, like, have the formula on the bar, maybe you would want to print a label, it could be a pressure sensitive label, or it could just be a label that you tape onto the bar, I'm not sure exactly, but, but where you would enlist the ingredients and the formula, and you could use that to convey the message in terms of why it's good for you, um, you know, whether, whether, whether you make this viral so that people link to other people who are making the bar, so you really enhance kind of the, the community building aspect behind the bar. It would also enable you to create uh, kind of a, a, a call of the brand. Maybe it's not a brand, but maybe it's a cause with good nutrition. And then if you had at some point 
similar products, maybe at the beverage that's a juice beverage, or I'm not sure what kind of food product it might be, but, but you might at some point come up with another supplemental uh, food. Um, that, that, that you have some way to link all of that together uh, with, a, with a common kind of, you know, follow the label, but I'm not sure if that's what it is. Well, here in the United States, it would be called the Transform Teaching Bard. And so what it would be, would you, it, you'd go to transformteaching.org and see, oh, I can buy this, you know, 10 of these bars for 20 bucks. And, you know, obviously it's, half of that is shipping. Or I can go down and buy the bar at, you know, and you, you, you've worked out distribution with somebody because um, we basically do a private label of a bar that's already accepted out there. I mean, maybe you tweak the formula. There, there, there must be a, you probably know people who will make bars for you. They've got a standard um, bar that's pretty tasty. And I really don't care. You know, I want it to taste good so people will eat it. And then what the, the gimmick is, oh, by the way, you just got whacked with sugar. And uh, that's why it tasted so good. Um, don't buy this bar again. Instead, use the formula on this label or download it from the Transform Teaching. By the way, if you happen to buy this again, uh, 20% of the pro proceeds goes to distributing the healthy uh, bar to villages in Africa, you know, something like that. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, Steve, as we're talking, I'm thinking building international bridges. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe this is the way that, uh, you know, the, 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 the girl in, in, uh, in Africa that's helping AIDS orphans or... Yeah, Jenny Hind, yeah. exactly. We're raising money for her project. In the part of the world where there's a poor nutrition uh, profile for, for students and so forth, that, that maybe uh, a portion of the proceeds from, from the more prosperous countries or markets uh, would, would help support uh, nutrition programs in, in underserved uh, communities. So we'll call it the... I, I can see an infinite number of ways that this could be a really uh, effective way to uh, you know, support and underwrite you know, worthy uh, activities across the globe. Okay, so um, the, the development money goes in... From the Long Island into like a global initiative, so I'm, I'm not sure maybe we should kind of rein in our focus, but it's you can see how this thing might build out. Well, yeah, I, I just want to have a bar out there that's called the Building International Bridges Bar or whatever, and it's um, an expensive bar, and the reason you're paying so much for it is that, you know, half the cost goes to help orphans in Africa or something like that. But um, uh, can you do a private label on a, can you find somebody who makes a bar? And the, uh, I don't know what it costs to do the, the packaging. You have to get these things UL approved or something like that? No, no actually, you know what's, what's really interesting? You know,